About 75,000 to 10,000 castles were built in Western Europe. It would be a place where a lord would defend himself and his family. So the word castle comes from uh, the Latin word castrum, which means just a fortified place. But technically, uh, the word castle refers to a private fortification owned by you know, some type of lord or king and not like city walls. So city walls aren't a castle. It's just a building you know, designed for that purpose. It would be a place where a lord would live. He would also be able to defend himself and his family. So the fortifications like this have been around for a really long time, starting with, you know, just piles of earth with wooden palisades on top, on the top of, uh, of hills. Roman legions, every camp they would make every night, they would actually build a camp. The, the castles as we know them, as we've seen them along all the roads we've been driving down through, uh, through the mountains, they began to be built more like the 9th and the 10th centuries AD. So the, the first style was called, was, was called a moat and bailey. So there were, you would dig a ditch, pile the dirt from that ditch into a hill, and then you would build a house on top of it. So it was pretty simple, pretty easy to do for a small local ruler. From the year 1000 on, castles began to be built faster and faster. One reason for this is that there was, you know, that you would do it because you're reacting to some outside pressure. Like when the Moors, Muslims invade Spain, you get a lot, a big boom in castle building because people are wanting to make sure that they're defended from the Moors. Or other things like Viking attacks or pirate attacks. That would prompt the building of castles. Local rulers would also build them for when they fought each other. So it wasn't necessarily just an outside threat. Or you could put them up on a river or a road to charge a toll. So the castle technology evolved. That you have them switching from earth to stone, they move towards outside walls with a large keep, a large tower on the inside. So the keep is a large building in the center of a lot of castles. Oftentimes you could actually defend just half the building because there was only connected by one point. So if you lost half the building, you could just keep defending the other half. Often during a siege, there might not actually be, normally there might not be platforms along the top of the walls. There would just be perhaps holes there where they could build on a platform on the inside of the walls <clears throat> for an actual siege. They would also sometimes build even wooden things that went out over the wall so you could drop things down on people below. With the Crusades in the, in the 13th century, the castle building uh, increases even further as there's larger armies fighting uh, and interacting also with Muslims and some of their, their technology. Castles were maintained over the years by adding on new things, new technologies, rebuilding them. Even going into to more modern times, the 1800s, a lot of times the castles that had been used by the Romans, or at least some type of fort used in Roman times, was still used in 1800s, 1900s, even in some places to the present. So each generation would improve. Uh, one thing that you, if you're looking at a castle and trying to figure out is this more of like a palace that a ruler built or upgraded, uh, one thing is whether is that look for windows. If there's windows all along the walls, it's not intended for primarily for defense because that's a good way for the people inside to get shot with some missile if there's big windows. So one like this where you see a couple tiny little windows, that's a sign that this was built primarily for defense. So artillery was introduced in the 1320s. It really changed castles. It took a long time to perfect them. At first, they could only fire, you know, a few times a day. But by 1450, they're the main siege weapon, and soon they begin to render castles obsolete. Because the ar artillery destroys castles as we know them. A fort that's designed to defend against artillery looks a lot different. It's a lot lower, using a lot more earth to absorb the force of the cannonballs. So uh, about 75,000 to 10,000 castles were built in Western Europe, less than 2,000 in England, 14,000 in Germany. So they were a pretty major part of the countryside in a lot of areas. 
castle architecture remained very popular even after they weren't militarily useful. I mean, part of that is because you already have all these grand buildings, a great place, an impressive place to live. Some of the most famous castles weren't even actually built during uh, the time where they were militarily useful. They were just built to be palaces for a king or a lord. And in the 19th and 18th and 19th centuries, they have nobles in some areas actually building fake ruins of castles called follies, just as a massive lawn ornament, uh, just to add, add to their uh, elaborate gardens. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it with your friends. You can also visit www.discerninghistory.com for more videos and other resources.